Oh, everyone can see even with a gas mask on, it still unlocks. Let's exaggerate a bit, try it with goggles. Those who think it can unlock and those who think it can't, press 2. The internal codename for the Vivo X100 Ultra, known as Thanos. After a long wait, today this supersized model has finally arrived. Let's hurry up and see how Vivo's top-of-the-line flagship performs in 2024, featuring the familiar lunchbox packaging with a one-time seal, all of which feels quite premium. The natural pattern comes from the collaboration between Vivo, the official partner of the UEFA Europa Cup, and Zess, resulting in the X100 Ultra with a small blue logo from Imu. Opening the box, the phone itself feels pretty solid. Oh, it's still quite hefty. Opening, we have the chopping board, data cable, charger, and protective case. Let's first take a look at the charger, Vivo's Flash Charge 80W Fast Charger with private protocol USB-A interface. The output power is an incredible 7.3A max. Wow, this cable is thick. Unlike the common 6A cables in the industry these past two years, this one is an 8A cable, 99 centimeters in length. This special sealing with a one-time seal inner film further reduces any chance of the device being repackaged. Peeling the film off is somewhat stress relieving. Under the light, we have a larger curvature on both sides with standard hyperboloid deformity and an off-center cutout for the R angle, which is not too large, giving the device a relatively slender frame. The side frame has a strong metallic taste with a supple brushed finish, and the frame has been treated differently on all four edges. On top, we find materials joined together, signaling professional imaging, speakers, sensors, and four microphones. The bottom has an internal reset, aside from the speaker, with the microphone and SIM card slot clearly separated by antenna bands. This deserves a positive review, as it can reduce the chances of errors. The frame design on the left and right is also specially made, which is distinctively different from other models. The side frame features a straight edge design with a smaller scope, while the top and bottom edges have a slight protrusion, providing a better grip especially when playing games in landscape mode. Both the power button and volume keys are tested on the right side. And now let's turn to the back. Oh, this is the main color scheme of the latest large size Vivo, the tie color. To clarify, this is a back panel with a decent AG matte finish, but in terms of color, it uses this year's familiar titanium hue. It's not highly reflective, but rather displays a subtle matte reflection texture, which is quite outstanding. Since this is a big cup model with an emphasis on imaging, let's look at the camera area. The protrusion is quite significant due to the exaggerated layering of sensors and lenses, which is expected. In fact, compared to what I anticipated, it's somewhat thinner. The lens ring features a two-layered complex radial design. And the craftsmanship of the wristwatch under the light is quite exquisite, especially when observed closely, as it's full of details. The lens ring itself is not the usual outer square and inner circle we're familiar with, but adopts a string instrument window design, narrower at the top and wider at the bottom, giving off a space technology vibe under the light. In the center, there's the Zeiss small blue label and the trapezoidal coating logo. In recent years, Vivo's flagship imaging devices have indeed set a unique standard in glare-resistant high-quality coatings. And if you look closely at the configuration within the lens ring, it has a four-hole design, a three-camera setup, a one-inch large sensor, and an exaggeratedly high-resolution periscope telephoto lens, along with a wide-angle lens configuration. According to Vivo's positioning, this should actually be considered more as a camera, with phone features added to it. Broadly speaking, this model isn't extraordinarily flashy compared to what I anticipated. As a premium model, it's suitably understated. Regarding the grip, it's not unwieldy, and the device's balance aligns with what one would predict. Thus, photography enthusiasts need not fret over it being unduly cumbersome. In its horizontal orientation, it evokes the essence of numerous iconic cameras, particularly with this tie shade. It genuinely gives the sensation of cradling a camera, so now we'll examine its heft. 230 grams is indeed on the heavier side, matching its imaging emphasis to a significant degree. Of course, this weight is to be expected. A high-resolution screen, metal and glass build, a large sensor and lens module are all what we've come to expect from Vivo's relentless pursuit of top-tier features. Okay, out of a full score of 100, Let's give our first impression score for this Vivo Thanos supersized version, and then let's hurry and power it up. As for the system navigation, besides the commonly used gestures for navigation and full screen, there's also the classic three section style, aiming to cover legacy users of the Origin OS operating system. We've tested it a lot over the past two years and are very familiar with it. This year, with the addition of a plethora of AI features, it's become even more user-friendly. 
Let's first take a look at the app situation. There are a total of 21 third-party apps, which is a medium to high number compared to other models we've tested. Moving on to a light background to check out the screen to body ratio, the dual curved edges narrow towards the sides, and the top and bottom are slightly wider. For a feature-rich model, let's examine the audio-visual performance. Firstly, the new built-in VivoSense font for the display, the screen resolution can go up to 3200 by 1440, and its local peak brightness can impressively reach 3000 nits. Under a microscope from the same distance, the pixel density is noticeably higher, and the familiar diamond-type subpixel arrangement differs. As for the refresh rate, the 120Hz eye protection mode is thoughtfully comprehensive. Aside from, apart from the regular eye protection mode, there is also a reading mode and anti-fatigue brightness adjustment. Let's hear about Vivo Sound. The effect of sound enhancement is quite noticeable. Of course, the sound is slightly louder at the bottom. You can adjust the volume for different apps separately. By increasing the volume, you can switch between multiple programs to fine-tune the sound and visual balance. As for the fingerprint sensor, it features an ultrasonic recognition, which is relatively rare in the industry. Its placement is not biased and is generally located in a comfortable position that's easy to reach with one hand. Entering faces with 2D facial recognition even if the nose is covered. It can recognize me even with a mask on, which can unlock the device, thinking it can't be unlocked without exposing your face. Okay, it unlocks very quickly. I also want to ask everyone, do you wear masks when you go out now? Press 1 for yes, 2 for no. Oh, as you can see, even while wearing a gas mask, it can still unlock. Let's try something more extreme, wearing goggles. Press 1 if you think it can unlock, and 2 if you think it can't. I hardly recognize myself now. Okay, this time it can't unlock. In other words, it unlocks smoothly only when your eyes are visible. As for the storage of this flagship model, it offers 1TB with currently available space being 988GB. Regarding the battery, it has a capacity of 5545 hours, which is quite substantial. Upon opening a game, there is a detail worth noting. Previously, we mentioned that the frame part has a slight rise along the sides, resembling a design often seen in gaming phones, so it's comfortable to hold. Moreover, many worry about the camera lens causing obstructions or discomfort in the hand. The lens is definitely protruding, but it's designed in a way that... While playing games, there's a neat design where your fingers naturally grip in the area without the camera, sort of like this. Hence, you don't often touch the camera area, roughly speaking. It's a nice touch, adding just a bit of care in positioning the camera components. Moving forward to the imaging aspect, it's significant to point out a premium spec, the ability for slow motion video, allowing you to film in 4K at an impressive 120 frames per second, which is truly at the forefront of the industry. Impressively, this high quality zoom feature is available even at 4K 120. With Zeiss portrait lenses, you can recreate a variety of classic Zeiss lenses effects achieving very beautiful bokeh. Okay, this is the quick experience with Vivo's supersized X100 Ultra, the familiar Vivo that insanely packs features, offering the highest specs in mobile phones, from imaging to hardware, screen, battery, and even system AI. If you want maxed out performance in every aspect without compromise, then this device deserves your attention. Okay, this is the first unboxing from Measure, wondering what test you want to see next. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.